Hey everybody, this is Greg Ryder and I'm going to show you how to download, extract, and install Facebook Miner. That's me hang gliding, by the way, in Palomar Mountain. So you're going to get a page that looks like this, or, or, or you know, after you put in your credit card, complete your checkout, you're going to get the ability to download the zip file. So I'm going to click, and I'm using Internet Explorer, I'm going to click on this and it's going to say, do you want to open or save? Now, I like to save my software, so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go save as. And then what I do is I have a folder under my documents called my software. And under my software, I've created a folder called Facebook or FB Miner. And I'm going to save it right here. And it says I already have that, but that's what I'm going to save. So I know where it's saving. So I'm downloading. You can see it's downloading over here pretty fast. It's about a 19 megabyte file, so if you have a slower internet, it's going to take a few minutes. Um, we got pretty fast here at the office. So the bottom line is we're going to download this software and you got to remember and you got to know where you're downloading your software to. The biggest customer support issue we have, I've been in the software business for years and years and years, is they download the software and they don't know where it goes in their computer. And a lot of times it goes into uh, the downloads folder, but in every browser there's a settings tab and it will show you where it typically defaults to go if you don't do a save as like I did and some browsers don't allow you to do a save as so basically now it's ran now I'm gonna hit view downloads and here it is so I'm gonna double click on that and as I double click on that it's going to open I'm gonna open it up and in here is the setup file now some browsers will allow you to run the setup right from here some you have to extract the files. Some you have to extract the files. My computer is going to let me do it right from here, so I'm going to double click on setup. But if you if you have to, you click extract the files, extract it to a folder where you know where it's at, and run it from there. And what will pop up is a box that's saying security warning. Um, we didn't pay to have a secure certificate for this executable, so you just hit run. And then another box is going to come up. This is from my antivirus. I hit, yeah, I want to install it. Now it says, welcome to FB Miner Setup. I just hit next. It's going to put it into this folder. Because we're running a JavaScript that works both on a Macintosh and a PC, we found out for whatever reason it had to be installed in the C drive. So go ahead and just hit OK. Don't change that. And this says it's going to create a program shortcut in your programs folder. Hit next. And then I always check create a desktop icon because I want it right on my desktop. And then I'm going to hit install. Now it's going to do its thing and it's going to install. And now it's going to say, Do you want to launch the program? So I'm going to go ahead and hit launch. Okay, so now it's launched my default browser. And the program actually loads up in the UR ball. It says localhost 780 FB and it's running this JavaScript. So very, very cool stuff. And here we are. Now, please note this new version all fields are required for FB Miner to work correctly and give accurate test results. If you need help, you can visit our support portal at internetoilwells.com forward slash support. Now, if I don't put my email and my Facebook password in, I'm going to put X and X. And I'm going to put a keyword in, let's say music. And then I'm going to click concert tour. And I'm going to make six results just so it's nice and fast. And I'm going to hit search. Now, it's going to go find results for us. But because this program uses a combination of our amazing technology this 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 search query and technology that's doing if you're not logged in to Facebook with your account it cannot find out and tell you if you can message these people so it will give me results but they're all gonna come up no 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 you can't message them when in fact if I click go it's gonna launch another tab and I can message this person right but because I'm not logged in See, that logged me in automatically. But see, but, but our program doesn't know you're logged in. So the bottom line is, is you have to log in with your Facebook email and your Facebook password. Every, and then it'll remember this information when you come back. And then that way you're logged in. If for some reason you get a bunch of no's here, it's because you didn't have your right username and password to log into Facebook. But in order to get the Facebook results of I can message, great. Now, a couple of the new features we have. Uh, obviously, we can sort our likes by smallest to largest. We can click go and it will launch another tab right there. So it automatically takes to another tab. And when you do have your username and email in here and you get yeses, you can click yes and it takes you directly to the message box, which it takes you directly to here. 
So you copy, paste, bam, you're in, and you go on to the next one, and you hit next and go back. And so it's much faster, much better to do what we're doing there, and I closed out the window. So that, so there you go. So that is how you install and run this program. Now we're going to do training videos on downloading your CSV file that comes up right here and we can get our CSV file we can download this information to come up in a Microsoft spreadsheet and there we go there's all the stuff in the Microsoft spreadsheet or you can do it in a PDF file and it'll come up in a PDF file and you can open that with Acrobat and you can get that information too so there's all kinds of cool stuff and we're gonna do separate videos on all this kind of stuff so you can really understand each one in detail so this is Greg saying thanks we appreciate your business